<sighs> Hi, Leo. How are you? Welcome to your June to July reading. <sighs> that drink has aloe pieces in it. Very good. Very good for you. Um, yes. So let's get into it. It is starting to get a little dark. The lighting is not as good as it was maybe an hour ago. Um, but let's see what we can do. I hope you all are well. I love you all very much. And yeah, it's been rough. All right. First two cards out. Nine of Swords and the Devil. Okay, so a situation this could be read one of, of one of two ways right or one of several ways really so one being that the nine of was representing worry um anxiety fear around the situation involving a capricorn since the devil card represents capricorn um fear okay fear of ten of cups coming out um, fear of also potentially an addiction issue or some sort of behavioral pattern that you feel you are held in bondage to and you are beginning to hit a bottom with that behavior. Um, you know, also very plainly, you know, fear of fulfillment, right? Will you feel emotionally fulfilled with this Capricorn energy, um, this Capricorn person? Hmm. Some fears coming up if you are the right person for them or if they are the right person for you for the long term. Now, this could also be reversed. This person, this Capricorn, could also be worried that you do not feel emotionally fulfilled with them. Oh, okay. That was a lot. So what came out that I am going to take because a lot of cards flipped over. Um, the Five of Swords and the Page of Wands. Five of Swords, Page of Wands. So I feel as though you or the other person is worried or concerned about um, five of swords behavior or behavior in which someone is being deceitful. Someone is trying to gain the upper hand. And I feel as though if that is the case, if you are in a relationship with somebody who, for whatever reason, you have been worrying about whether or not you are feeling fulfilled with this person and you are feeling anxiety over whether or not this person might be dishonest with you in one way or another. It doesn't always have to mean that they're cheating on you, but it can mean that, right? I hate to, to say that because then it creates unnecessary anxiety and tension for some of the viewers. But nonetheless, this person is acting in a duplicitous nature, right? And so if there is actions or behaviors that are sort of happening that would constitute you feeling worried or feeling concerned intuitively um there is a message that comes through this is either you going to the person and asking them straight up like hey what's going on what does this mean or you will receive information about this capricorn through another entity right and like i said it, it, i'm saying capricorn but it could really be it's 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 somebody who has an established position within your life, right? The devil card um, is definitely a card of establishment, right? That this is somebody or something that has been in your life for quite some time, that you feel bonded to it, you feel beholden to it, um, and breaking free from it is not as easy as it would seem. Wheel of Fortune, okay. So as soon as this message comes in, right, as soon as you do receive whatever information you receive about, it could be information, right, regarding this, it could be guidance, it could be you reaching out to friends and family, um, 
you know, seeking help from, 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 uh, from healers, spiritual workers, whatever you want to call it, but receiving guidance in some way um, or being told the truth, then we have the wheel of fortune. So things do flip. This is a good change, right? In the midst, even within the, pro the, the progression of this reading already, we are seeing a shift from this nine of swords to this wheel of fortune. So for some of you, yeah, and then we have the sun. So for some of you, you will find that whatever concerns or worries that you initially had actually were not based in reality and were not based in anything that was actually happening. And this page of wands is able to quell whatever anxieties or fears you have about that. Um, let's look at the five of swords. Can you clarify the five of swords? Okay, yeah, that you that you fear, right? We have the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups that came out to clarify the Five of Swords. So there is, so of course, this has to do with a particular relationship. And I think also this Queen of Cups is really looking at and trying to observe where does she stand emotionally within this relationship, right? Where do, Where is she at? Does she feel emotionally connected in this way still, right? That sometimes this can fade. And then when we realize that we don't feel this, we don't feel that same way anymore, when we don't feel fulfilled, it can be almost as heartbreaking, if not more so, than when the other person no longer feels in love or fulfilled with us anymore, right? Then when we ourselves become the entity of which the relationship is like losing its spark, right? When we realize like, oh, like I am like, I'm no longer feeling the feels or I'm no longer feeling that, you know, that spark of love towards this person, that that can also be really painful, right? And... So I think, you know, with this, I would say be very, very careful about sort of tiptoeing around honesty, thinking that you can have your cake and that you can eat it too, um, I would say. And I feel like this Queen of Cups is really looking at, you know, her emotional stance and positioning within this relationship. Does she feel the same way? Does she still want to um continue to explore you know is there a future does she still see a future does she still um is there emotional connection that's that's still there so there are a lot of these questions are coming up with this queen of cups energy regarding your connection to you know i you know this capricorn energy or this energy that has definitely established itself within your life but you feel almost as if you're in bondage to it right? You feel almost as if you can't move forward from it because you've invested so much, right? Leo was very loyal, right? That there can be this, oh my God, I'm so loyal to this person, to this, to this idea of this relationship. I can't just leave, but I am afraid that I am not feeling fulfilled. I am afraid that I'm cheating myself out of feeling the fulfillment, right? That if you are in situations, and this can expand beyond relationships, it can be through work, it could be through family, through projects, through collaborations, right? That if you are in situations where you realize I'm not fulfilled, yet I feel I, I have to remain in bondage to this situation, be very careful because, um, even in the midst of you feeling so loyal and feeling so like, I gotta like stick it out, you will find yourself behaving in ways that will be manipulative, that will, you know, reek of entitlement, um, that will not be entirely honest, right? That will have be half truth, so to speak. Um, so let's clarify this page of wands. Yeah, I feel like y'all are just really trying to ask yourselves if a certain situation, a relationship, a job, an opportunity 
is, you know, if, if you, if the loyalty and the responsibility that you feel towards it, that have you, that you have felt towards it, if it's worth it, is this worth it? Can you clarify the page of wands? But I see a turning, a turning of events. I see with this wheel of fortune, then we have the sun, right? Yeah, so the page of wands is an opportunity that comes through. An opportunity that is quite emotionally fulfilling. It's an opportunity for, for, for healing, right? If you are in a relationship where you're unsure, right? Like, where's this relationship going? What's the deal? There is a moment, there is a clarity, there is something, right? The Page of Wands being the spark for me, right? There is something that sparks up a new beginning between you and this person. Um, there is, and if you know within your heart of hearts that you must walk away from this relationship, well, it's not very, it's not too long before another, a, a compatible energy, right? A page of wands energy, a fiery energy walks into your midst and has an offer that is quite fulfilling, right? That thus leading to the wheel of fortune and you as the sun, right? You in your most innocent, most playful, most childlike form as the sun. Um, happiness, you know, just pure joy. And not wondering, you know, we've gone from this to this within the span of one reading. So any, any final advice or guidance for Leo for June to mid-July, mid-June to mid-July? Eight of Swords, okay. It's a warning. It's not necessarily, it's advice, right? You, ha you have to remove your own blindfold, right? That whatever bondage you feel that you are in um, is also very much self-inflicted, right? Any other guidance or advice for Leo? <sighs> There's all kinds of lightning strikes going on outside right now. It's our rainy storm monsoon season here in northern New Mexico. It's very beautiful. Okay, I don't I don't feel anything else. So we have the eight of swords here coming out as your advice, guidance going into cancer season and to mid-July. Um yeah, whatever <laughs> you are creating here. It's almost as if you have an opportunity to kind of backtrack a little bit before, like before this really, right, can take a hold if you haven't hit this moment yet, that you're given an opportunity to kind of backtrack into the Eight of Swords from the Nine of Swords and ask yourself, okay, like, how am I inflicting this upon myself? What am I, like, I'm, 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 I'm convincing myself that I'm in bondage, right, in this situation. And maybe you are, maybe you aren't, I don't know. But I'm convincing myself that I'm in bondage, right, that I'm stuck here. And maybe if I just remove the blindfold and release myself of my own limitations, I will say that that's not the case, right? Maybe I'll leave the situation and I won't be in bondage anymore. Or the situation will resolve itself, right? And healing will become injected into, into the situation and it can totally transform. So it's up to you. You know, it's up to you. But you have to be willing to ask yourself, what am I, what is my part, right? Um, where is my loyalty getting me into trouble? Um, where is my sense of self-sacrifice getting me into trouble? And so just be very mindful of that. Be very careful of that. And yeah, I think overall, it's a great month. It's a great month for learning. It's a great month for, you know, removing yourself from these tendencies and from these tendencies and from these tendencies, if you find yourself there. Um, but it's a very fluid reading. So that's it. And I will see you all for cancer season in July. And I love you all. Bye, Leo.